This week, a big loser, most luxury hotel brands that fail to leverage mobile platforms. Last week, Google announced that more of its searches come from smartphones and tablets than from desktop. We knew that was coming. And in our digital IQ index for luxury hotels, all 50 hotel brands we looked at offered some kind of mobile optimized experience. However, availability of features and functionalities is severely limited. Less than a third offer user reviews, and only 6% or around 1 in 16 offer a video on their mobile sites. Only 7% allow room check-in via their mobile sites and 12% via their mobile app. And only 15% allow room service ordering via mobile app and 5% via a mobile site. Advanced functions have been slow to materialize. This is a huge missed opportunity. And it's likely that the OTAs or Google themselves will fill this void. As we saw with TripAdvisor, when hotel companies decided they didn't want to have user reviews, TripAdvisor filled that void and is now worth more than almost every hotel company in the world. A loser, the American worker. As the myth of progress goes unchecked, as tech companies try and talk us into believing they create jobs, they don't, they destroy jobs. Facebook is projected to do 17 billion in revenues and Google almost 80 billion. But what are the implications for workers and employment? Facebook and Google, it takes six and eight employees to generate 10 million in income versus agency peers that can take 60 to 70 people. In retail, it takes 17 folks from Amazon to generate 10 million in revenues. And Macy's and Sears, 62 and 63 respectively. And in tech, Apple only needs five folks to generate 10 million versus 94 employees at Samsung and 112 at HP. Now, does this mean these companies are bad? No, but let's be honest, they are not creating jobs, they are destroying jobs. So Zulili, winner or loser? Well, if you look at this morning's stock price, it looks like a winner as Alibaba has announced a 9% stake, sending the stock rocket melting upwards. Zulili sells clothes, toys, and baby products and reported, however, a huge miss on first quarter revenues. We think this is the first of many misses coming Zulili's way, as consumers opt for multi-channel offerings. Consumers get what they want. Do they want a great website, a great brick and mortar store, or an organization that uses digital as the connective tissue between stores, sites, and the consumer? Zulili is door number one. The answer is door number three. So big winner, coffee drinkers, who probably win every morning. Hey, congratulations on getting out of bed. Let's celebrate with coffee. What happens when you stick digital rights management between people and their coffee? Tanking sales. Keurig sales fell 23% year on year, Q1 2015, after they decided to block the use of third party pods, which seemed to be littering the world. In 2014, Keurig produced 9.8 billion packs, enough to circle the globe 11 times. My ex wife said I was obsessed with coffee. She got it all wrong. Coffee is addicted to me. That's right. We'll see you next week.